Hello there, hi, it's Julie here. Um, I was just wanted to jump on live to um, had a really, really busy weekend. It's been amazing, but so, so busy. Um, we've had a charity singing night. We've had a um, night out with the girls. I've had my son's prom and I've met loads of people, which has been really good. A bit tired now. Um, but uh, during the process of that, I've been talking to people and I've been getting lots and lots of questions about the um, the workshops and the work, particularly the wax and wine sessions that I'm running. So whilst it's clear to me in my head, it's clearly not clear to other people. So I decided to jump on and uh, I've sort of rounded up all those questions. Um, and I thought I'd just explain rather than trying to written form. Sometimes things don't come across very well. So um, it's obviously caused quite a bit of interest. Let me turn this around a moment. So this is my website. Um, I did, I don't know if you saw on Facebook, you may or may not have seen, I posted some pictures um, of a recent one we did uh, and I've shared my dates that I've got coming up. Um, so people are interested in it, but they don't really understand who it's for. So if let me start by showing you where to go. So my website is artyheaven.com. And if you go to the shop area and learn in caustic, that is gonna bring you down to this page. Um, so, and what you're looking for is wax and wine. Um, this is what I've been asked most questions about. I think for anybody else that's coming into the other stuff, they already understand what it is they, they're looking for. Um, so I've got other workshops and, and things on there, so feel free to have a look around. But this is basically what the wax and wine is. So, um, I've set some dates. I've got some dates next week in July. Um, well, there's actually one tomorrow we want to take that with well if anybody wants to jump on tomorrow night i am available um there's one on tuesday i've got one booked in for wednesday and there's one on thursday as well and friday and then there's nothing else available my schedule's really busy then until september um so there are i think three dates in september i'll do i'll set these out a little better so there's some dates in a week in september that i can do some dates and then again there are there's a week in november that i can do some dates as well um so you know you, these are all the same so you can click in and then that will kind of tell you exactly what it's all about um and what have you so that's all on there so i'll turn this back around again but just to explain more really um so that's where to find the information and the dates that are available but um so some of the questions have been asked is who is it for um and the answer is these are for anybody it is literally just a fun session to come and get creative and have a go with it um you don't have to be creative, you don't have to be arty. You, it, it's the most tactile, therapeutic thing to use. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got this amazing studio space. Um, I've run these before and they're always really successful. And I just think it's a really nice entry point for people to just even just have a try with it, really. Um, I've deliberately priced them quite low. They're 30 pounds per person. Um, but I do ask that it's like a minimum of four people um, so that you know it's it, it then works for me doing it that way but it makes a really good night out so where these are really successful is people um so examples of people that have done so for a birthday party special birthday it works really nicely for that uh i've had daughters bring their mums along um and or grandparents and they've had just had a couple of hours and just just family time and getting together and and creating together they've been really successful uh, somebody asked me if I did um, Hindus actually, so it would work really nicely for that. You know, when you're looking for something a bit quieter in the afternoon before you go out and go have the full on evening do, great to kind of bring your aunts and, you know, pre predominantly, uh, predominantly it tends to be ladies that come along, but I've had a few guys come in as well. Um, but yeah, normally it's kind of, a, a, you know, evening out with the girls kind of thing is, is really where it's ideally suited. Um, but yeah, we just kind of kick off. It's two we two hours, couple of hours. Uh, we kick off. We come in, look around the studio. A glass of fizz normally. Normally have um, a glass of bubbly, um, but we you know can arrange something else if you let me know. Um, it also, if you don't drink, there's always non-alcoholic options. I've always got tea and coffee and things, so that you know it doesn't have to be a drinking thing. Um, but it's sometimes just nice to have a social thing with a glass and a tipple. Uh, just really light snacks, just some you know crisps. Sometimes some some dips and things. Um, depends what I've uh, organised. Uh, and we just get around and it, people just start playing with it. So it's it's largely untutored. Um, I show you how to use it and how to kind of kick you off, um, which is really quite simple to start with. And then you will start applying the wax with with an iron. 
Um, so if you haven't seen, if you want to see more examples of that, again, if I pop back to here, linked up on my website, you will find, um, I've got a YouTube channel, which is just Julianne Wax Artist. So you can have a look around my studio. There's a couple of videos on here that show you how to paint with an iron. So you're basically painting with an iron um, and you can see my studio if you kind of log into these. And I've got a load of other videos on there as well. Uh, so another question I was asked is what age is it for? Um, I always say teenagers and up just because of health and safety with, um, you know, heated tools and things. But actually, it's it, I've had younger um, children than that do it with me. My nephew did it and he was, I mean, he was closely supervised, but he was, I think it was nine or ten at the time. Um, so as long as they're the kind of child that would sit down and, you know, enjoy it, um, then it's fine. If it's somebody that wants to race around and would rather be kicking a football, um, I've got two boys know all about that so then it might not be for them um but yeah if you've got somebody that's really arty and you know just loves that creative side it would be absolutely fine for them and then up to up to any age honestly it's anybody can do it i've had all sorts of um of ages in so that was another question um so i just deliberately keep it short for a couple of hours just as a taster experience really um if you wanted to add a longer session on then i can arrange to do that quite easily if you think that two hours wouldn't be enough um, time does disappear, it flies by, people love it and they're like, oh, is that the time already? So we can always add a bit of time on if you wanted to. Uh, so that was another question. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So if you've got any other questions about it though, do just pop in the comments below and I'll come back to the video and have a look. Um, but it was just specifically the wax and wine sessions that people just weren't really clear on what how it all worked. Um, so as I say, it's basically painting with an iron and beeswax. Oh, how many people can I can I take? That was it. Um, so I've got them set up for four people. If you wanted to do a workshop or something instead of just like the the taster session, you can get you can book any of those dates. Let me know and we'll go deeper into it, um, and I'll kind of give you more of a step by step um, thing with it. And you know it'd be great to kind of book. Or you, you don't have to have four people if you just wanted to come along with two of you. That's fine. Um, and I you can then just have more in depth tutoring. Um, so with four and up, you're just kind of given a short demo, shown how to do, and then you kind of, you know, I keep coming around and checking everyone's okay. Um, but you can, uh, you know, you're, you're largely kind of just playing with it for yourself. Whereas if it's less, you know, less numbers, then you will get more tuition is what I'm saying. Um, but you can also add more people on. So if you have more people that wanted to come, I, you know, I would say four to eight is a really nice, comfortable number up in the studio that I've got set up. I can, I've got enough equipment for more. Um, and I would say probably I could go to 10 in that current studio. Um, I've done workshops for 15, 20 plus people before. So I've got, you know, there might be a bit of sharing of equipment, but it is quite doable. But up to about 10, it would be the maximum at that studio. Um, so yeah, the equipment isn't an issue. It's, and there might be a slight mismatch of um, chairs for that number. So, but if you want to do that, just go and book your date and then contact me and we can arrange to add more people on. That's not a problem at all. So that was another question. Um, was there anything else? I think that was, I think I've covered them all. But if, the, if you've got any questions, I say pop them in the comments below and I will come back and I will answer them later. So uh, anyhow, thank you for hopping on. I can see somebody's watching. I'm not sure who it is at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully that makes some sense. Um, my studio is in Sarat in Hertfordshire. Actually, I should probably add that. So it's, you know, this is really for people who are more local to me. Um, but I'm guessing if you're watching this, you've probably been following me for a while and uh, know roughly where I am. Uh, anyway, any other questions, just go to artyheaven.com and feel free to, all my details are on there, um, feel free to drop me a line and uh, I'll try and help you out. But I'm hoping that by putting these on, the intention is that it's a really good, it's a starting point just to test the wax out and see if you enjoy it. It's a great experience for people, people, you know, it's, it's a lovely thing to do to, with good friends um, and that's why I do them. Um, people, I've got raving feedback about it. There's a load of testimonials on my Facebook, uh, sorry, on my, well, uh, Facebook and website. So go and check those out. Um, but yeah, have a think about an occasion. If you've got an occasion coming up that you, you know, sometimes you're searching for something to give a, as a present or a, an experience. Um, it's just, that's why I do them. It, and they're just so much fun. I love doing them as well. Anyway, I hope that's helpful and has answered a few of the questions that I've been getting. So uh, head over to, um, yeah, look for the wax and wine tab on my website and uh, then you can see the dates. But I say there are dates in, there. I've got some dates next week in July. Um, the next ones, I've got a week 
that I can do them in September and then I've got a week that I can do them in October but I can't do any other times so that's that's what currently fits in with my schedule and the time that I'm allowed you know that I have got available um, I am open to negotiation if anybody wanted to do a Christmas one I haven't currently got dates set up for December but I didn't want to tie myself into dates so uh, to too many during that month which is always really busy for me so you know if you wanted to do a Christmas thing with the girls or something and get a date in the diary now just message me and we can arrange that anyway I hope that's helpful and uh, I hope it explains a little bit of what I've been sharing you might have seen the photos but still not been quite sure what it's all about all right I'll say cheerio now. Take care. Bye.